Let's talk a little bit about how to troubleshoot plants. Um, this is a dwarf Hinoki cypress. I have it planted in uh, one of my homemade rocks. My concern is the leaves. These are slightly yellow. As you see, when compared side by side, this is uh, healthy. This one is turning golden. And I feel that is a problem. Now, there is a um, golden variety, but this isn't it. This is the same variety as this, so it should have a deeper green. Just fertilizing might take care of it, but I suspect that it might have something to do with the root zone. So what I'm going to do is to take this whole thing out, check the root. So what I'm going to do is take this whole thing out and check the root. If it was a true rock planting, there would be a little pocket where it grows, but all the growth is down in here. And so my plan is to uh, scratch this up a little bit, add fresh soil, and add the fertilizer to this area. See, adding fertilizer here where you normally do it is not enough because almost all your healthy roots are at the bottom. And I'm pretty sure that once I do that, wait till a little bit warmer. Uh, we're on the first uh, week of April. It's starting to warm up, but as it starts to warm up, with the fresh soil and fresh fertilizer down at the root line, it should green up. Checking the roots, it looks very healthy. I'm just going to scratch very lightly, very lightly. Uh, this is very tender root, so I'm not going to do too much to it. Just barely scratch. I'll put a layer, a thin layer of fresh soil on the bottom, and then put this back. So let's put the thin layer about half inch. If you put too much in, this whole thing will pop out too far. So, see, just about like that. I'll go ahead and take the moss off, and then we'll apply new moss. Go ahead, add the soil. Make sure everything gets packed in. The spatula again. That just so that we could do the final packing. This is one of the uh, economical uh, paint brushes that you could get. It, it helps to clean up. Now they do make uh, special brushes for bonsai, but. All you need is any kind of brush just to brush these off. And my theory always been, go where you get the most for your buck. So I know how exciting it is to see me put fertilizer on it. So I'll show you a close up. Now, as I always talk about, uh, the amount of fertilizer needed is dependent on the formulation that you buy. So make sure you read the package. This is about the right amount for this fertilizer in this size container. Where you could buy brushes with black handle, actually you can't or I haven't seen any. This is actually a kind of a natural wood handle one, but to go with most of the bonsai tools that I use, they're black. So, what you do is put a masking tape on the silver part and spray it black. That's all there is to it. Uh, a lot of times we do these little things so that people go, ooh, must be a special tool. No, this is one of those very economical brushes from the hardware store. Uh, a lot of the, it's a minor footnote, but once you put the time-release fertilizer, they're in a um,
special casing, do not push real hard. If you start pushing real hard after the fertilizer is in place and you break those, then it's no longer a time release. It will release all the fertilizer at once and could easily burn your bonsai. Clean trunk first. That will clean it up and give a little more definition. That's one of the simplest things you could do is to just take the little green growth off the main trunk. Because in nature, you, when you see a mature tree, you don't see a whole lot of little growth on it. Okay. And then a few that is going somewhat upright, I'm going to remove those. Let's take a final look at Hinoki Cypress growing through a rock after service.